What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to assemble the rig of the GH5. Right, we're going to start with the uh, basis of this. So we're not going to start with the cage. These are the parts that you first need. So you need this uh, little thing right here. And you need this base plate. And you need this screwdriver, an extra screw. You need the battery adapter holder. And you need this one, which is a uh, mount. So let's assemble this. Uh, the easiest way, if you ask me, is to start with this thing and we are going to assemble it on the back using this screw right here. So let me do that. There we go. Now let me screw it fully in. So, so now it's attached to the rear. It's important to have some room uh, between this thing and this thing right here because you need to run your cables through. So that's why we are going to assemble this on the front. The easiest thing to do is you've got a screw over here which comes with this base plate and you've got an extra screw which goes in here. Uh, we are going to mount this screw first onto the back of this clamp right here, this rod clamp. Then we're going to mount this point right here. So let me start. You do need a screwdriver for this, it's easier. Some of these screws have like a flip up thing that you can use to turn. I just think it's not really handy when you're assembling something like this. So I'm using a screwdriver because that's the quickest way to do it. You need to make sure that when you screw this one down, you've got enough room for this screw to go in the front. So now we've assembled both of these down to the base plate. Now what we need to do is, this comes with a uh, small point over here. So we need to screw it down on top of this. Just make sure that this little thing is on the side, like so. There you go. Now this is nice and tight. This is how it looks or how it should look for you. See? So now we're moving on to the second part of this video, which is the front element. You start with these two rods. We're going to place them in the front like so. And just make sure that if you do that, that it doesn't go past this point. So just keep them like that. And just remember that all you gotta do is use this swivel thing right here and tight is tight, so don't over crank it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to assemble this to the base. Reason being is because we are going to attach the handle to this. I'll show you guys how that works. So I'm going to slide it in like so and I'm going to screw these down again same as I did with the other one and just make sure that the flat part is on the bottom and not on the top now we are going to attach the handle with the rosette clamp we're going to attach it to the side standing up like so and this is how it looks. Now what I want to do is I want to attach the mat box. The mat box is made to make sure that you don't get any unwanted light from the top, the sides. Uh, and obviously you won't get any light from the bottom. Uh, it works with the same system. So we're going to place this on the rod and then clamp it down by screwing these down like so. And now from there on, let's move to the cage itself. It's a cage made by Nice Rig. Reason why I bought this one instead of the small rig cage is because this one already has got a hot shoe mount on the side for your microphone. Um, what we're going to start with first, we are going to place this thing let me see if I can show you guys. There you go. This thing on top of the cage because we need this to clamp on the nice rig handle, which is this one right here, as you can see. So that's what we're going to do first. So I'm going to place this on the front line of this cage. I'm going to screw it down using these bolts right here. I hope you can see it. When you attach this to the cage, make sure it's very tight because you don't want the handle to come off and then drop your camera. There we have it. Now it's attached on the top. 
Now what we need to do is we need to leave this as is and get the handle and attach something to the front. So I'm going to place away the cage for now and I'm going to attach the same thing on the front of the handle because that's where you can attach a monitor to if you want to if you don't have a swing arm like I've bought. The link for that is in the description down below but like I said first I need to attach this to that like so. This is how it looks. There you go. And now we're going to use this system to attach it to the cage itself. So let me pull out the cage and show you guys how that works. You place it like so and then you screw down this part like so. Now the handle is attached to the rig. Once again, this is how it looks. And now there's one thing left to do which is place the camera inside the cage and then mount it to the cage. So I've got my GH5 over here. Let's place it in like so. And now turn it around and there's a screw down here and you have to attach this screw to your monitor. So that's what I'm going to do using a screwdriver again. There you go. This is how it looks. Show you guys from the side. There you go. And now the final thing that we need to do is we need to attach uh, this tripod clamp to the bottom of the cage. I advise you guys to take the middle one and then attach it to it like so. Just make sure that when you attach this to the rig it's set to this instead of that because you need it to be like this for your tripod or for most tripods anyway. So now I guess there's just one more thing left for me to do which is attach the camera to the whole rig and show you guys. And there you have it. Let me place it to the side. This is how it looks from this side and this is how it looks from the other side. And that's it. This is how it looks. Let me show you guys. So we've got the handle over here. We've got the matte box and the camera. And obviously I've got the monitor flipped out. And then this is the other side. You can hold it like so for your low angle shots if you want to. It's very easy. Or you can just grab it to the side, grab it here and then shoot away for a nice handheld footage. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to post your questions about this rig as well and I'll see if I can help you. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, do it!